The show where kids and tunes compete for prizes. And now it's on your marks. Get set, go! With the host of the show, John Jetters! No! No! Has anyone seen my, uh, glasses? And the Earl! to Scatoni! Scatoni Sports Academy! Great! Another one of Charles's get-rich-quick schemes. Uh, what do you say, Earl? I say we meet the contestants. Say hello to Connor, Bradley, Mark, and the self-proclaimed MVP of every high school sport, Lightning! Nah, nah, it's Lightning! Shabam! Now, Rain? Sheesh. We also have footballing sensation and overall klutzy guy, Ricky Crunch. No. Plus, the world's most successful and expensive athlete, football, rugby, golf, and hungry hippo player, Rex Triumph. Thank you, thank you. It's a great honor for me to declare the Scatoonie Sports Academy for the rich and gullible Open. What's a sports academy? Lots of people go and then teach you about sports and stuff like that. Like this, sure touchdown! Uh, you get like a diploma or something? I think lightning puts the dip in diploma. <laughs> so kids come here and learn proper sports skills? Sports skills? I ain't teaching no sports skills. I just take their money and show them how to be rude and obnoxious. <laughs> like a real sports star. Kids will love it. <laughs> Put a sock in it, kid. Stay quiet about the scam and I'll give you a goodie bag. Awesome. Does this academy need a president? Because the lightning knows everything about sports. Oi, I'm the sports expert here. Yeah. Okay? Thanks. Okay, okay. Pipe down and let me run through the rules of the game. All you gotta do is stay in the game through three rapid fire rounds. We're gonna knock two of you out at the end of round one, then drop the second pair of losers at the end of round two. That'll leave two contestants battling it out to see who goes through to the Scatoonie Quiz Champ Challenge. Once there, they'll be playing for fame, glory, and the chance to become this week's Scatoonie Champion. You hear that? We're in pursuit of true glory. Lesson number one, what does every great sportsman have? Probably a nice house. Maybe because it would have a train in it. So you could go to each room in the train, and you jump into the train, you get to drive the train, and then you have to make your own pancakes. Not exactly. A Lamborghini? You're not getting one of them? Yeah. Now it's drive, discipline, respect for the game. I like the red Lamborghini. It's a sweet ride. Am I right, Mark? Woo, yeah! Shahatha! Anyway, to succeed in sport, you need a positive attitude and a belief you can win at any cost. Yeah, any cost. <laughs> Determination to stand proud and play hard. Play hard. <laughs> And when you can do all that, why then, you'll be a sporting hero. Just, Just like, like me! <laughs> Man, that was lame. I'm gonna make so much money. Who <laughs> inspired to be sporting hero? Let who play ball? Shut it, who! You're here to paint in round three, and that's it. Yeah, you know Crash who sporting dreams. <laughs> <laughs> this could take a while. Time's a ticking. 
Well, I guess we better play. Hang on or focus. Okay, Moldy Toast, let's run through the rules. I'm going to get Gavin and say a load of stuff. Some of it's true, but some of it's a load of baloney. All you got to decide is what's bang on true and what's bogusly false. So if you think it's true, you shout bang on. And if you think it's false, you shout bogus. You got it, Lottie Livers. At the end of this round, the two lowest scoring players are out of the game, and you have as long as it takes who to slam dunk the, uh, Charles. Let's play! Bang on a bogus. It's good luck to whistle. And what do you say, Mom? Bogus. Correct. Cat's jaws can move sideways. Rex? Bogus. Correct. Yes. Okay, keep your shirt on, Rex. Golf ball is a type of basketball popular in the Netherlands. What do you say, Lightning? Easy! Shabogus! Wrong! It's bang on! That's what I said! Just admit you lost that question! Never! Jeez, give it a rest! Perry from Spliced is a squirrel squid butterfly gumball machine. Mark? Bogus! No, it's bang on! Cinco de Mayo translates into the 6th of May. Ricky? No, I mean bogus! Correct! Fried tarantulas are eaten in Cambodia. Lightning? Uh, bogus! No, that's bang on! No, I meant they taste worse than bogus. Nose bogus! Nice try, non-winner. Alphabetophobia is a fear of spelling bees. Let's hear it, Brad. Bang on. No, it's bogus. <sighs> the world's largest popcorn ball weighed as much as an elephant. Kana, welcome to the game. Bang on. Correct! she is the twin sister of He-Man. Ricky? Uh, bang on. Correct! Yay! Oh, my elbow! Oh, tough enough. I thought you were a sporting legend. I am. Now oh, my back. Why do you keep breaking yourself? <sighs> Would you rather me break wind? I don't think so. Ow, oh, my butt. Jeez, what a tough guy. The computer mouse was introduced in 1968. Brad? Bogus. It's bang on! Archaeology is the science of arc building. Brad, let's hear it. Bogus. Correct! The euro was used by everyone in Europe. Ma, bet, bogus. Correct! And it looks like we're nearly done. Trees can only live to be 100 years old. Rex? Bogus. Correct! A hooded sweatshirt in Saskatchewan is called a bunny hug. Anna? Bang on. It is bang on! Woohoo! Ah! Ouch! <laughs> and that's the end of the round! How do you do, Treacle Teeth? Good. I'm number one! No one can match me! I, I think I'm going home. <laughs> okay, well, you all played great, but it's the taking part that counts. Blah, blah, blah. You're all winners. Except for Lightning and Brad with the two lowest scores. I'm afraid you're both out of here. Hit it Thanks up. for playing, but you're out of here. You gave it a go, but you're out of here. Bye bye. Yeah. Who? Oh, no good at basketball. What sport do you play, Mark and Blue Shirt? Well, I usually play soccer. Yeah. Okay. Who else want to play soccer with who? Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. Who be attack? You be the ball. Yay! Yeah! You call that a scream? This is a scream. What? Ow! My lung! You better stop that monkey, Chudders! Uh, yeah, yes, Charles. Right after we take a break. So stick around, Twinkle Toes, as Connor, Mark, Rex, and Ricky battle it out on... <laughs> Welcome back, Wiggly Wings. Now, what were we doing before the break? Oh, yeah! About to be kicked to the moon by who? Hey! Who was just running up to talk to contestants? But little suit man gave him better idea. Who's 
shoots, he scores! Who curled Chris Block into top corner? Man, that was a close call. But they seem okay. And they landed in the cheap seats. So what are you still doing down here? Yeah, I know, Charles. Let's go, Earl. Don't worry, buddy. You're getting a soft <laughs> serve. No! What's it time for, Earl? Row if you know! <laughs> Listen up, Pickle Brains. This is how we play. I'm going to ask you loads of questions, and the answer will always be either football, soccer, or golf. When you think you know the answer, reach up, grab the ball that matches, buzz in, and throw it my way. Hey, wait till I ask a question. Now, you have the time it takes for a, uh, uh, um, the hop. You have the time it takes Whale to unbung his blue hole. And we're off. What sport was featured in the movie Bend It Like Beckham? Ricky? Soccer? No! Oh, correct! In what sport would you use a putter? Rex! Golf, Mike! No! Oh. Yes, it's golf! The Rough Riders, Packers, and Cowboys play which sport? Mark, let me have it! Ba -ba. Correct! What sport would you get points for scoring a touchdown? Ricky? Uh, golf? sport is played during the World Cup? Mark? Soccer. Goal! Correct! In what sport can you score a hole in one? Connor? Golf. Correct! It's a late surge for Connor. Bobo Zalas were almost banned from which World Cup sport? Rex? Soccer! <laughs> Good shot, Rex. Manchester United and Real Madrid play what? Rex? Soccer! <laughs> What sport can be played in a kilt? Hit me, Mark! Uh, golf? Correct! And we're almost out of time! A quarterback and linebacker play what sport? Oh, wrong ball. Connor? Football. Football is correct, but you threw a soccer ball, so no dice, mister! My grouchy neighbor. So, who's through and who's being sent off? Oh, the injury time. Uh, stretcher for one. Oh, I'm out. Afraid so, Connor. Oh. You've been a great sport, but along with Ricky Crunch, you are out of here. Take it away, Earl. Yeah. So now it's down to Maniac Mark and Reckless Rex. Uh, needed that. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, that's the end of that round, butter buns. But we'll be right back after the break to see Mark and Rex slug it out to get to the Scatoni Quiz Champ Challenge. Or you could just see us get smashed to pieces. Either way, it's all happening right here on Tony Twizzlebeaks, and you join us just as we're about to. He splattered all over the stage! Ah! Oh. Ow. <laughs> Fantastic work, Earl. You saved the day again! So I guess you could say, hairs to me. Find whole world of sport quite pressurized and angry. Angry? You ruined my sports academy, you dumb simian. I could have made millions. Yeah, he's pretty angry. So, who's done with sport, huh? Yes, who think his temperament best suited to art and throwing poo at sporty people? Yeah. And the sporty people are just fine going along with that. <laughs> right, fellas? Huh? Right? Huh? You're going down. Not gonna happen, mate. We'll see. Yes, we will. Okay. Okay. Bring it on. I will. Okay. Fine then. <laughs> Enough! You're both gonna bring your game as we play... Proof and Dung! Now, Mark, Rex, all you gotta do is guess what who here is painting a picture of. 
And watch out for the mug! Long time! This is like not what I signed up for. So after who's done painting, the player with the least points is off for an early shower. And boy, are you gonna need it. Whose bitterness fuels his art? That's right, who? Then let's get going! Yeah! Ma? Butterfly? <laughs> Not a butterfly! Ma! Dragonfly? Correct! A clock! Correct! Oh, you can't do this to me! I'm a sports star! Who smear canvas with his passions? Yeah! No! It's a running shoe! No! no. Guitar! Yes, nice one, Mark! Uh, Oops! Uh, Rex! Looks like a teeth! Correct! No. Superficial harmony belies chaos beneath! No. Disgusting! No. Rex! It's a motorbike! No. No. Correct! Take that! Mid back! Rex! It's the World Championship Cover Cup! The popery of who passing me. Pineapple. Correct! You're both tied with three points for who's gonna win! Who paints the eight legs of his discontent? Uh, I ate chili last uh, night. Enjoy! <laughs> Mark! It's a spider. Correct! <laughs> it's a mighty fireball stadium! Uh, no! Oh, come on! Ah, too much bran and milkshakes! It's a uh, teddy bear. Correct! <sighs> Who all painted out? <laughs> and that's the end of the round. Let's have a cheer for our favorite artist, Who! <laughs> and at the end of that mighty mucky face-off, I can reveal that going through to play our Skatoonie Quiz Champ Challenge today is... What? You're out of here. How could I lose, mate? Because you forgot the number one rule when playing any game or sport. Enjoy it, you overcompetitive freak. Yeah. Huh? But, 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 but I'm number one, mate. They call me Tyrannosaurus Rex. Sorry, T-Rex. This time, you have to settle for being number two. <laughs> you can't do this. I'm the best. You hear me? Sorry, Rex, but with your bad behavior, I'm gonna have to show you the red car. Don't be a bench warmer. There's no red card in quizzing. Not red card, red car. What? You'll be hearing from my lawyer. He's gone, baby, gone. <laughs> All right, Taffy Toes, stick around to see if Mark has what it takes when we raise the stakes in the Skatoonie Quiz Champ Challenge. John Welcome back. Mark is with us and ready to quiz. What's he playing, Earl? The Skatoony Quiz Champ Challenge! Mark, you're our number one sporting hero. But you'll still have to beat the Skatoony Quiz Champ Challenge. To do that, you have to correctly answer 10 questions in 90 seconds. Succeed and you'll be the Skatoony Quiz Champion. But if you don't, then it's relegation to the losers of Skatoony history. No pressure. How you feeling? Good. Now, if you don't know the answer to any of the questions, just shout something silly and I'll move on. Are you ready? Yes. Take it easy. Breathe. Focus. Try and... Too much talking. Let's say no! Merci is French for what in English? Uh, thank you. Correct! What is four times two? Um, eight. Correct! Who on my babysitter's a vampire has the ability to cast spells? Bleh. No, it's Benny! If charcoal turns blue, does it mean it's hot or cold? Cold. No, hot! What country is located south of Canada? Uh, United States. Correct! Was the Titanic a ship, plane, or train? Ship. Correct! Shaggy, Velma, and Scooby are characters on what cartoon? Scooby-Doo. Correct! What game do the Leafs, Canadiens, and Red Wings play? Hockey. Correct! <laughs> 
sound means we're halfway through your quiz champ challenge, Mark. It's Earl's halfway due. Hey, that's my line. So here's Earl with a tempting little offer. Mark, so far you got six points. Ooh, but I'm gonna give you one extra point in exchange for just 10 seconds of your time. That'll leave you 35 seconds to get three points. Do you want the deal? Deal. Okay, Mark, that means you've got 35 seconds to score three points. And your time starts now! What frozen dessert is made from milk and cream? Ice cream. Correct! How many days in January? 28, 30, or 31? 31. Correct! Is the heart located on the left, right, or center of your chest? Left. No, center! What's the scar on Harry Potter's forehead shaped like? Uh, lightning, lightning bolt. Correct! That's it! You did it! Yeah! yeah! With 10 points in just under 90 seconds, you are this week's Gatuning Champion! Sweet flaky faces, but don't miss out on more cartoon quizzing coming your way real soon on Scary! Today's show really brought out my sporting side. <laughs> More.